Volkswagen's all new eighth generation Golf R is finally on sale in Australia. With more power than ever, a much higher price tag and one particularly exciting feature. Volkswagen Australia is officially underway with what it's calling the Year of the R, launching five high-performance models in 2022. And it all begins here with the Golf R hatch. The new Golf R returns as VW's flagship Golf, positioned one rung higher than the front drive GTI hot hatch. But even though entry to the Golf range now starts for around $66,000, it's still much more affordable than hot hatches like the Audi S3 and Mercedes AMG A35. For now, the new Golf R is here first in hatchback form and set to be followed by the new Golf R wagon in the coming weeks. The body itself is slightly longer, but not as wide as the previous generation Golf R. Meanwhile, the wheelbase and front and rear tracks have grown ever so slightly. 19-inch wheels continue on, albeit with a new design, while quad exhaust tips are back again and the rear end can be differentiated by new badges and a large rear spoiler. The Mark 8 Golf R packs an upgraded 2.0-litre turbo petrol four-cylinder, delivering more power and torque, but it's no quicker than the model it replaces, with an official 0 to 100 sprint time of 4.8 seconds. Still the only Golf with all poor power, the R also carries over a 7-speed DSG Auto, but there's no manual gearbox for Australia. Well, we saw it with the standard Mark 8 Golf range, which arrived mid-2021, and the new Golf R has similarly come leaps and bounds in terms of interior presentation. It's much more tech-focused, but with a very minimalist and luxurious feel. One of my favourite features are these new Nappa leather seats, which are both heated and cooled and super soft. The new 10-inch touchscreen can be a little daunting at first, especially because it's now home to all of the major settings, including climate control. But once you spend some time getting used to it and its custom and shortcut buttons, it's actually pretty straightforward, even if it's a little slow to respond at times. Space in the rear seat is similar to the last Golf R. There's enough room for two adults to travel fairly comfortably, and I like how deep these seat bases are, so there's plenty of under-thigh support. There's also loads of headroom, plenty of seat pockets, air vents, a centre armrest with cup holders and isofix points on the outboard seats. The Mark 8 Golf R's boot has grown about 30 litres, but you'd probably struggle to notice. You get the same 60-40 split fold rear seats as well as a space saver, spare tyre and removable cargo cover. We've driven this for a few days now on road and I've got to say the first thing that strikes me is just how comfortable and even unassuming the new Golf R is to drive. In comfort mode it's quiet and smooth and refined and you might even be forgiven for thinking it's just a regular Golf. Such is the versatility of the Golf R's adaptive dampers. But underneath there's a whopping 235 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque to play with. And that really comes to life when you switch it into a racier drive mode, of which there are now many more to choose from. And that's thanks to the all new twin clutch four motion all wheel drive setup, which has the ability to send 100% of torque to the outside rear wheel, which facilitates the much anticipated drift mode. And we really got a sense of that at work on the skid pan. But if I'm honest, the new Golf R doesn't feel all that potent off the line and that's because you still get that dreaded lag from the DSG and a little bit of turbo lag. Once you're going though and you're up to speed, the new Golf R is an absolute weapon. Bridgestone Potenza tyres provide plenty of grip, which we got to experience here on track. And those give you loads of performance when tipping it into a fast corner like Turn 1 at Sydney Motorsport Park. In terms of cabin refinement, it's no better or worse than the previous Golf R, where large wheels and low profile tyres have the tendency to drum into the cabin at highway speeds or rough roads. But what it lacks in refinement, the Golf R makes up for in dynamics. That new torque vectoring diff is a great addition to this hot hatch, with twin clutches that electronically work out which corner or wheel to send power to. In simple terms, it helps you drive out of corners. 
The sports steering wheel feels great underhand and there's plenty of adjustability for the pilot thanks to a 12-way powered driver's seat. Unusually, for a new generation model, the Mark 8 Golf R is actually thirstier than the model it replaces. The same five-year unlimited kilometre warranty applies to the new Golf R and the first five years of servicing will cost you $3,000. In some respects, the Mark 8 Golf R feels more luxury car than hot hatch, and that's on its lavish interior and top-notch equipment levels. We'd still love a manual gearbox option, but there's a lot of fun to be had in this hot hatch. And while $66,000 might sound like a lot of money for a Golf, given the performance, technology and luxury on offer here, we reckon the new Golf R is a bargain compared to European rivals.